I, he's gonna see this video, I know, but I want to tell you something. What? I share it with everybody. It's the master sword that she made. I'm gonna highlight the top, you do a little dry brush. I don't know that. Well, you just learned. Welcome to my channel, Sarah Loves Sparkles, where I love doing all sorts of fun things. In today's video, I am watching my sister make a Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom costume. So in this video, I am just going to like be popping into her workshop or wherever she's working on the costume and see what she's doing and just kind of take you through the process of uh, like before, during, and after of these costumes. She is making a Link and a Zelda for Tears of the Kingdom and my sister and I have cosplayed together for years and um, she's made so many amazing things. I'll put some of them in here. Yeah, so all of those she made, and she just makes amazing costumes. We love cosplaying together. This time she is cosplaying with her boyfriend as Link, her as Zelda, and they're going to the Renaissance Fair. So it should be a lot of fun to see how they turn out. So let's go check it out. So these are pieces of her like Zelda armor that she's 3D printing, and she even made these files herself. And she's and I believe you're gonna pin gold, right? Yeah, they're gonna be gold. They're gonna. I'm gonna string them together with this. We just got this at Hobby this Lobby. Is, we had a like fun shopping trip to Hobby Lobby, and she picked up this. She sent me a whole list of stuff she needed. Zelda puzzle, G code. <laughs> that G -code, she made that yeah. herself. It did take her a couple of tries to get it right. This is all the scrap, but <laughs> but she does that's a, have that's one try though. That's okay. That's her. one try. I'll this is try one. twos right here. Try two, okay. <laughs> try two, but yeah, this is all. She has a plan to use this stuff too, but um, I'm, I like to not waste. Yeah, she don't like to waste stuff, but this, yeah. So this is um, yeah, try one, and this just came came out like this it's still oh, look at that painted. so this I did not get to film film her printing this but this is the master sword that she made and um this one it, that was off of a file I didn't make this okay yeah. so I she bought it. that file printed it herself painting it herself I, I can just imagine Heather's painting skill is I would almost say that's one of your best talents, but <laughs> no. her painting is so good that I can imagine this thing is gonna look crisp. And this came in like, well like five pieces or this so. This was one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. yeah, five pieces. She put it all together, put a rod through the middle, and then, um, what'd you do? No, you knew all that. Glued it all together, painted it up, and this, is, know, this honestly, is just the base coat. The the thing is, the separate pieces, they're yeah. just super glued together too. And oh then it's like gosh. sturdy, sturdy. Yeah. <laughs> so, what you doing there? Putting painting details on the sword. Painting details, and like I said, I feel like that's one of your specialties. Painting? Painting, yeah. Well, this is a. Okay, hold on. That's gorgeous. Don't, don't look at that part though, because that part. part? This part, all of this. That's, this that's part coming, of the process. This part is coming along. Oh yeah, it's definitely coming along. It takes the... See, I love how you add this little like black like... Just wait, I'm gonna put some tear. real um, fabric here. Real fabric on that part? Yep. Oh yeah. But this part is too clean so far. What's getting there? It's part of the process. Yeah. Can't wait to see the finished piece. Okay. Do a little dry brush on there. Are you sharing some of your secrets? No. No? Okay. That's not a secret. Everybody knows, like, if you want to <laughs> highlight the top, you do a little dry brush. I don't know that. Well, you just learned. That's just the start of the details on that, though. And is this going to be gold? This? This? No, that's that's just like a engraving. Oh, it's still silver, huh? Beautiful. Beautiful work. Here's a couple other little things she 3D printed. She turned a t-shirt into this crazy dress that she's gonna wear to WonderCon. 
And um, I'll put a picture of that one in here, but just got to see. This is a, something else. She's working on two things at once here. Three. Three? What is three? Uh, Zelda, Link, and... Uh, Zelda and Link count as one to me. We're gonna go see what your aunt's working on. Let's go see what your aunt's making on her Zelda costume. What you working on? My sash. You wanna see it? I do, yeah. I'm drawing a template first. Oh, you did wanna come see what your aunt was working on. Thank you did, you. okay. Thanks for coming, buddy. Um, yeah, it's a sash. Hudson, so come look. Uh oh, there he goes. Let's see what she's working on. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, okay let's you see. Gotta close that door, or else he's gonna run. Okay, let's yeah. see. Uh oh. Go ahead. <laughs> he he knows how to turn that on. Okay, yeah. Let's see what you're doing. Okay, so I am working on my sash. Your sash. Right. So now. you could sashay around the <laughs> thing. Whoa. It's too cold in here. This is my sash. Okay. I started drawing it to look like. You're just drawing thing. this by hand then? Yeah. Well, by computer hand. Well, I'm like looking at all the reference images that I can, which is not very many as Zelda okay. right now. And uh, yeah, so this is actually, this measures 27 inches here, and I'm going to have to export it in a way that I could print it out of the computer. Are you um, 3D printing it? No, this is actually the back. I have it 3D printed already. Okay. So I have like shapes 3D printed to go on the back of like everything. Oh, wow. Here, actually. So what you doing there? I am wrapping some fabric around the end of the Master Sword to complete it. How cool. It's coming around. Oh, yeah. Look at that thing. I need to weather this fabric. You're going to weather that fabric? Yeah. How are you going to do that? Paint. Oh, paint. It's, oh, that's amazing. Here's my ears, too. Your ears. Painted so those. you're going to wear those? Yep. So I'm curious to see what Zelda's going to do with a Master Sword. Oh, jeez. No, that's not. That's <laughs> not Zelda. It's Link. So, so what? Is it going to like hook onto his back, or what? Is he going to He's probably going to hold it? it. Super cool stuff. And then what are you doing here? Um, These are... I'm 3D printing beads that look 3D like rocks. 3D printing beads that look like rocks? Yeah, I have to drill a hole through them, but... For what? That's for my sleeves, and then he has a belt. Oh. Super cool. And when is some sewing going to occur? Probably tomorrow. Oh, so you got that printed out. Well, we just looked at it on the computer. You got printed out? Oh, that's not actually what we just looked at on the computer, oh. but that's in the shed right oh, now. Oh, okay. But this is um, Link's destroyed arm. Link's destroyed arm, and you are going to be ever foaming. That's going to be ever foam layer one, ever foam layer two, and ever foam layer three. Wow. Available for purchase. Available for purchase. Hero arm armor. armor. And I'll put a link to how they're used stuff that you can purchase here because it's super cool stuff and then um what about that's these not here just for Zelda. Like, I mean, that's arm, arm. You and and why don't you tell me about these those that is what we just saw on the computer so oh, okay on the computer i made a template so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do an ambifone base an ambifone base and let's okay. just pretend like this is what we're going to be doing so okay I'm going to make an Evofoam base, then I'm going to glue chain onto the Evofoam, and then I'm going to layer my 3D printed pieces over to create the right shape. So let's say like we do something like, see how that like kind of like cups it in. So that's what we picked up at Hobby Lobby the other day? That? Yeah. Yeah. It is, huh? Yep. This is what a, a bad piece looks like. A bad piece. Also available for purchase. Don't say that. <laughs> this is not available for purchase. No, it is not. <laughs> Please say you kind of missed it to me. Please give me that two you just gave me on camera. I don't think I can. You can't tell me, uh, you kind of missed it? No. <laughs> you even had Zelda tunes on in here, and I missed it. You did. Yeah, oh, I just man. turned them off for the camera, though, so you could hear me, though. Like, okay. I, like, I could put the Zelda tunes back on. No, that's okay. I 
um, Link Sash. Link here. Sash. Please don't tell me I kind of missed it. Well, I mean, like, I was cutting and stuff, but now I'm just going to be at the machine for a little while. Like, this is like the Lynx Toga Bottom. Toga Bottom, wow. Are you doing Lynx Toga Bottom? Is Steven going to wear anything under that? Of course. <laughs> yes. It's a and what is skimpy this? costume for a man. I know, that's the it's, funny it's part. It's a skimpy costume, he's very reserved, so... I know, that's the really funny part. I, he's gonna see this video, I know, but I wanna tell you something. What? And share it with everybody. He wants me to cover up his nipple. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to talk him out of it. No, he needs to leave it exposed. Link does, Please. Not, Link does not have a nipple. Leave... Leave a comment if you think he should leave it exposed. Sarah, don't say it like that. You know you're going to embarrass him. <laughs> now I feel like he's going to get so embarrassed. But I want him to leave his nipple out. Well, yeah, like Barbies don't, Kins don't, but, but you know they're there. You know, like I think it would look weird if... What are you going to do? Put a, put a pasty on? Like what was he If think? he wants his nipple covered, I will cover his nipple. But I'm still in the process of talking him into uh, exposing the nip. It needs to be exposed. Yeah, is that like against YouTube rules for me to talk about or? No, we're not talking dirty here. We're talking costume. For you to go. For me to do something? Yeah. I'm sure YouTube will find this extremely exciting what I'm about to do. I told you you missed it. I did not. You missed it. All I am doing right now is threading a bobbin. I already did. Look at this is what I already did. Well, tell me about this it. This is what you missed. I don't like. I don't. I'm borrowed on time. You know, I'm short that's on it. So am I. You know, it's the biggest. So that's like arm armor. They cut out all those. Arm earth. Arm earth, and then. That's amazing. And is this? Uh, that is the fabric. The fabric that is like the secondary fabric. The primary fabric is white. And what's this spectacular thing? Don't ask. Don't <laughs> I'm just that's kidding, yours. that's mine. <laughs> it just needs a little repair. And you know well, what? When something needs a repair, what do I do? Walk into my workshop and find it sitting somewhere and I think, what the heck is this and why is it in here? And then Sarah's like, oh, can you just do an alteration? And I'm like... Get out of me. <laughs> <laughs> you are, that was an off-camera joke. An off-camera joke. She said, <laughs> she <laughs> said, the boy doesn't have a nipple. <laughs> no. I can't do anything. I did say that. She I said. Did. Okay. How did and you a say very it? very Renaissance yeah. voice. I said. She said that people are going to pick on him. If his nipple is not exposed and say what? The boy doesn't have a nipple. <laughs> oh I'm worried about him. I don't want people picking on my boyfriend. She's doing something really interesting right now. So I gotta show you this too. Talk about me? I'm talking about you. Yep. Oh, um, can you hear me? I'm not sure. Uh, I hear you. I don't know if the camera can hear you. I'm burning the edge of this because it melts the fabric and gives it a, a little bit of a weathered look. Looks like it's seen some battle. It's seen some battle? Yeah. Yeah? So this makes it to where I don't have to fold over and sew the edges perfectly because wow. that would And so what kind of candle is this? Oh, I just do a single wick. So this is a, actually a dog candle. Oh, a dog candle? Yeah. yeah. But you just do you a single wick. You gotta watch it. Like, okay, see this part right here? Yeah. It's gonna catch on fire right now. Wow. Yeah, shake it out. And, I mean, it, it gives it a really, really, really organic effect. So. A really organic effect? Let me see it. The Going through? Or the effect? The effect. Oh, yeah. Super cute. And why do you have that that on? Oh, this kind of just because when you're milking things, like, there's some synthetic fibers in here. Oh, okay. And when you're ever you're milking, like, plastics, or something, you don't want to breathe that in. So it's oh. outside and stuff. So I'm breathing in. Well, no, I'm, I mean this is just a little. Like, I'm breathing in synthetic there. fabrics. No, 
I mean, you don't want to, but it's mm. not like you're going to be like, I do this all the time. Yeah, I know. So, I mean, it's like... Just a single wick and you're burning it off. Yeah. Wow. See? I mean, if the fabric was black or something, you wouldn't get the burn marks like you do on the white, so it's got to... That's so cool. Kind of think about it. And what is that piece? Uh, this is part of a toga. The, the link toga? Yeah, you're going to be impressed with how much I got done since last time we talked. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. I'll invite you in in a minute. Okay, cool. You're trying to catch it, but you didn't. Oh, I was, yeah. I always try to do something a little bit funny before Sarah starts the camera. Just in case. Just in case. Keep her on her toes. Keep me on my toes. Anyhow, you'll notice there is an outfit change. I have not been working in this all day. That is her Easter angel outfit. Oh, jeez. It's because um, we got an event. Yeah, we're going egg to an egg hunt. But This uh, is egg hunt attire. Yeah, yeah. We're hunting for eggs. This we are hunting for eggs. What I'm trying to do is attract them. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> this is what we are at. It is pretty much wearable. Wow. We two stitches and tell <laughs> You're laughing because it's on a woman's mannequin and you think, oh my gosh, it looks like a dress. Because it is a dress. But it, it, it doesn't have the top over it, so this is just the base. Other than that, we got the... The deets. The deets, okay. And yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Super cool. This is the bottom layer of Link. Bottom layer of Link. So it is another day. I don't even know what day we're on now, but I'm gonna go see what Heather's doing. Oh, and you may recognize this from our sister versus sister scrap fabric as um, the losing piece. No. <laughs> no don't say that. I mean, because how could this lose? Don't say that. So, what are you working on right now? I am doing details on the bottom of the overhang over the. Uh, Help me here. Toga. The toga, okay. Toga. There's a complete toga. Complete toga. And then this piece actually So is, is it like a romper? No, it's okay. Oh it's full blown toga. It's a, a full blown toga, yeah. Oh wow. So this piece is like triforces that Oh how cute. Over that. And then um it kinda just ties on. Super cute, I love it. So Heather has a little help today. She's been teaching Hudson how to sew. Is he helpful, Heather? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just missing something. No, no, not like that. She's letting him help pick the elastic. Yeah, that's the elastic we're gonna take. Don't you think this is a good one? Yeah, that's a good one. That's take. a good one, yeah, take it. Let's see what else you pulled out here, buddy. We're gonna say no to this. Yeah, we don't need the we don't need the tape right now. No. No. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah, yes bring that one. We're bringing two elastics and one stabilizer here. So this is what Heather helped Hudson make earlier. Hudson, show me. Yeah, show, well show it. You're show it. Sew in a second. Yeah, you're gonna sew in a minute. Yeah, like he knows how to turn it on and everything. Yep, it's on. Yep, you did it. Yeah, but this is what his aunt helped him make, and he did actually sew it, right, Heather? He did, yeah. Yeah, he well, actually I mean, I sewed it. Foot pedal, but he knows how to guide it a little bit. Yeah, so he made this. He got a boo boo on his head the other day, so it's a little boo boo bag filled with rice. He even picked the fabric. Hudson, show it off. Here. How does it work? How does it work? What do you do with it? What, did, what do you do with it? Cash. Is it cold? Yeah. <coughs> and what's in there? Rice. Rice. Yeah, it's rice. Turn around and tell me. Is there rice in here? Hudson, show me. What's in there? Rice. Rice? Rice. Yeah, it's rice. We put rice in there. Did you sew this? Uh. Uh, uh, don't try to get the rice out. It's in there. 
Oh you no, you don't eat, eat it. it. You don't eat the rice. That rice is for boo boos. This is for boo boos to make your. It's cold. See. We can make you some new rice to eat. Yeah. yeah. But we're I not think, gonna eat that I rice. Think he's, he's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> So now this is her Zelda dress and she's putting elastic in. We'll come back in a little bit and see how it's coming along. But Hudson did help sew that part. Yes, he did. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, he thinks the mannequin's broken. Oh. You want me to put the arms on? We can put the arms on. Yep. Yes to the arms? Let's see. <gasps> arms? Where did they go? No. Do they go here? Right here? Right here? Just fine? Yeah. yeah, that's right, huh? Hello. Hello. Wow, look at this. Oh, that's still left over from Heather's birthday. If you haven't seen Heather's birthday video, I will link that in here because that was am, super cool. I've been super busy. She's been I super busy. Yeah, she I made that, that flower thing this. into making this and, um,. Yeah, so this is Zelda's costume, and this is basically what she's going off of. They haven't released her full outfit yet. Yeah, so so, so this is your idea of her full outfit, and I know it's going to be so accurate. I hope it's at least somewhat accurate. And so what did you do here? I cut a little triforce at the bottom. That's super cute. You got it. There's still a little chalk on it, but get that off with some water. I love it. So it's it's really coming along. Yeah, the back is kind of neat. Got these. That's about the only part I could see on her costume. And look how exact. I hope it. I get nervous. I get. So I know nervous. you do. I know you do. I get do. so nervous because I always think like, what if? What if? And I know. I know it's just a costume. It's just a costume, <laughs> I know it's Heather. Just a costume. Guess what? I get all wired up about it. The point is, fun. Costumes are always about fun, but they're also about costume. <laughs> I feel like a, I feel like I'm like going insane right now. Are sorry. you going insane? Okay, yeah, well I'll, I'll come back when you're less insane. Yeah. Okay. Coming to see what Heather's working on now. She's been at this all day. This is just the first chance I've gotten to come film it, but I think um, I've been at this all day. <laughs> <laughs> I've been at this all day. Let me see if I can show you what this is. Give me a second. Okay. D this? Okay. Now, let me get this ready. Okay. <laughs> Have tape. This is obviously not my Zelda costume. But, this is the jewelry for my sash. So, this is almost done, almost ready to go on the Link's arm. I just need to paint it. Wow, I love it. Paint it and add Velcro so it can go on. And then that I just need to paint. I love it. And then what are you 3D printing here? Very proud of that piece. Yeah, well, because it took a lot of work. But Wow, that's cute. I mean, that's like a, the major piece of the costume. Super cute. Together, so I just you made all the, that out of foam and... Foam and 3D print. 3D print stuff. Super cute. Now for the rest of this costume, all I need to do is add some sleeves with some beads that I 3D printed. And then necklace, bracelet, crown. Wow, cool. It's all the same process. Wow, but over it. here, these are linked shoes. I did these last night. Which, oh wow! I mean, I don't know if you saw the beginning. I did. Of them. Yeah, I don't think I. I don't think I filmed the beginning. But pretend like my foot's bigger than that, and then they kind of just uh, lace up. Oh my gosh! Something like uh, something like that. Wow! But pretty soon we're gonna be doing the fitting, trying them on, and. Getting ready to go tomorrow. I, I'm working tomorrow on this. Tomorrow's the big day. She's working on this the just day hours before. before. Day. Yeah, just hours. Day before working. Also, she even brought his wig. <laughs> which I'm going to help style, but. Wow. Wow. 
fancy? Cute. Look at this. Do I have you sold? You do, yeah. <laughs> it's probably the craziest I've ever looked on camera. It wait, probably is. Wait. Rick and Morty. <laughs> you might need to insert that here. <laughs> And now for the reveal. Well, here is Heather's Zelda costume. Yep, I'm going to the Renaissance Fair right now, but we stopped at this big tree to take pictures first. That, okay, show it. Oh, showing the costume, duh. <laughs> um, got my wig, necklace, got ears on, earrings, the whole thing. Wow, look at I that. Really cool. Turn oh, it I around. Have, I have the contacts in too. Yeah, look at that. She put blue contacts in. And I now... So. Get in there, Steven. Okay. <laughs> and for Link... Here he is. There he is. This morning, I had to give him a tattoo. <laughs> wow. And I'm I don't really know good. if he's okay with me saying it on camera or not, but I have one on the nipple. <laughs> I have one on the nipple. I painted it. The nipple so is it's partially rebuilt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The sword came out really nice. Yep. Too. The Check sword that out. is the sword is really my almost my favorite part. I think it's my favorite part too. And and the shoes. I love the link shoes. <laughs> the shoes came out better than I get. thought. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what else I want to point out though? What do you want to point out? These are the 3D printed pieces here. Okay. And they match exactly. Oh yeah, how See? cool. Super cool. Yeah, not really good. Thank you for watching. I love how they came out. They came out super cool and I love it. And I love doing all sorts of fun things around here. So hit that subscribe button and uh, hope to see you around here again. Thank you.